Mr. Strathcona. Mr. Speaker, well, the fact is we've been raising the Apotex alarm for weeks and the government is still failing to, to listen. In response to allegations of corruption, the World Bank has banned SNC-Lavalin from bidding on contracts with the World Bank for the next 10, 10 years. In keeping with international uh, practice, CETA has now extended that ban as well to SNC-Lavalin. But the question I have, Mr. Speaker, is for the Minister of Public Works and Government Services. Why she has not also adjusted her integrity rules for procurement to give consideration to allegations of corruption in other nations? Uh, the Honourable Minister of International Cooperation. Well, Mr. Speaker, that, uh, that premise is somewhat out of context, and I should assure, I should assure the Honourable Member that our government expects Canadian businesses to play by the rules, and we have directed certain investigations to be done with the World Bank to ascertain if those rules are being followed. Our government will continue to protect taxpayer dollars and ensure they are getting tangible results for those most in need around the world, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Pontiac. Mr. Speaker, the mechanisms for the granting and oversight of contracts awarded by public works are clearly deficient. The minister continues to change her version of the facts regarding companies suspected of collusion and corruption. And now, Public Works may be continuing to do business with SNC Lavalle, while CEDA, like the World Bank, has refused to give it contracts. Will the minister put in place clear directives to standardize the rules of ethics for granting government contracts. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, the government has implemented measures to use taxpayers' monies widely, a framework for integrity to make sure we're not dealing with criminals. Under that framework, we recently extended the list of uh, offenses that would make uh, companies ineligible for contracts. Mr. 